Hi everybody, my name is Karen Cag, and I'm here with Angie, a member of the Aroma Cats team. Yay! And <laughs> today we're going to go over FDA compliance because it is one of the most important things that you understand when you start this business. Um, uh, Angie and I both just comp completed game plan training and Sarah Harnish was talking about how she got in trouble for FDA compliance. How many times, Angie? Was it twice? Twice. Twice, and you can completely lose your business. I mean, they will give you a warning, but it's really important to understand. And it's not that hard. So, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about it here. I've got a, a quick little PowerPoint to go through with you. It shouldn't take too long, but um, go from the beginning. Oh, no, really, click, click, okay. So it's say this, not that. And really, it's just a matter of retraining yourself to, to not say, things what you want to say is say you stress away it's the, the fastest thing to take away a headache and that's what I want to tell people I want to say here put this on it'll relieve your headaches but I can't say that so what can I say instead um, that's what we're going to talk about okay first of all structure function claims when it comes to dietary supplements young living products can claim to maintain and or support an already healthy body this is the thing really with all of the claims that you make as long as you're talking above the wellness line talk about how everything that young living cells helps support maintain um, the body systems but yeah remember you cannot make any claims about the structure or functions of the body when speaking about a cosmetic or an aromatic product um, so nothing about uh, hmm. well let's see we will we'll get some examples so you can say uh, that products can be associated with claims relating to external cleansing or beautifying or moisturizing um, so we can talk about how lavender might uh, moisturize, it might help our skin or something, but we can't say that it, it cures a burn, for example. We want to be promoting our vitality line. Now, I didn't understand this for the longest time. Um, so we have two types of oils. The vitality oils are the ones with the white label. And whenever we are talking about any structure function of the body, like the respiratory system, the immune system, the cardiovascular system, circulatory system, we really need to be sure that we are talking about the vitality line. So um, if we talk about, hmm, if we talk about thieves supporting the immune system, technically we should be holding up the thieves in the white bottle. I hadn't really thought about that, but um, when we're talking about the immune system, that's inside, that's a, a, a part of our body. So we need to be talking about the ones that we use internally. Um, same thing with circulatory system. Anything that's going on inside the body, we really need to be talking about the vitality line. Okay. Mislabeled usage, and that's kind of what I'm talking about here. When you're promoting cosmetic registered products as dietary supplements or vice versa. So if it is uh, the Copaiba in the regular bottle, like this, this is labeled for topical use or cosmetic registered, if you will. It's, and, and we really shouldn't be holding up the Copaiba, in, and I have done this in class. We really shouldn't be holding up this regular Copaiba bottle and talking about putting it into our water and taking it internally as a dietary supplement. I should be holding up uh, the Copaiba in the Vitality bottle. And I guess if you don't have that one, then you could just, you know, you could make that point, you know, to, when taken internally, use the Vitality line to be completely compliant. You cannot make any direct disease claims. A disorder of structure or incorrectly, incorrectly functioning organ, part, or system of the body resulting from the effect of genetic or developmental error. Um, so anything like scoliosis. Um, uh, Angie, can you think of any other types of disorders? Any like liver disease? <laughs> Obviously, anything with the word disease in it. Um, you can't, Fibromyalgia. Uh, yeah. Yeah, any of those things, anything that is technically a disease or anything that has poisoned you or um, any sort of nutritional deficiency or imbalance or toxicity or unfavorable environmental factors, all of these things, especially one that produces specific signs or symptoms or that are... <laughs> there you go. Um, hey, Lydia. No, it's Donnell. Hey. Hey. Good to I see just, you. I just finished my other um, uh, class, so hello. Good. I'm glad you were able to join us. We've just gone through like the 
the first bit and Angie's phone was ringing so she had to mute herself bless her heart um, we just finished talking about how important it is to talk about vitality oils when you're talking about using them internally or if you're talking about um, supporting body systems I said I yeah I said I said a lot of times we talk if you talk about thieves supports the immune system that's great but you should not hold up the the brown bottle of thieves if you're talking about any system inside the body it, it really needs to be the vitality line the ones with the white labels okay so any sickness illness flu um, I was teaching a class yesterday and um, <laughs> Becky she was just talking about thieves cleaner and how she was so happy she was using the thieves cleaner and um, because she didn't want to catch the flu and I was going foo, 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 eh, you know you are you're using the F word and she's like what I said the foo, foo. finally said flu don't say flu um, even though she wasn't talking about thieves cures the flu or thieves will you know but you, you, you can't do that either um, you can't uh, say a physical or mental feature that is regarded as indicating a condition of disease particularly such a feature that is apparent to the patient like um, okay so if you were trying to talk around flu and you were saying things like weakness and dizziness and vomiting and cough and if you're if you're using those words to describe the symptoms of a disease you can't do that either so you couldn't say this will help with your dizziness this will help with your pain um, you can't say that either um, any implied claim that's really what I think more what what Becky was trying to say and she was just talking about you know the, how she had cleaned her house from top to bottom to get rid of germs um, but you can't really do that either um, an implied claim is one made indirectly or by inference for example this product is great for sniffles and sneezes so you may say oh I'm not saying allergies but you can't imply that either because when you say sniffles and sneezes it implies allergies um, and it gets really technical sometimes you know you can say it helps support respiratory comfort <laughs> you know but again as long as you're talking above the wellness line and you're talking about supporting health and not treating a disease then you're okay <sighs> some of the great graphics that we used to have out there on Pinterest were uh, like your medicine medicine cabinet you know you can replace your whole medicine cabinet with these oils this premium starter kit you know pan away will replace your icy hot you know um, all of those those things you can't say you can't make any comparison to an over-the-counter drug as a uh, say that these oils are a substitute for or they are compared to um, yeah be because and also you're prohibited from making inaccurate and impermissible claims about any of Young Living's products in particular you must not make any claim that Young Living's products are intended for use in the diagnosis cure mitigation treatment or prevention of disease so that includes making comparisons to any any drugs that people might buy okay these all of these sheets are in your virtual office and oh, I meant to open that up and I'll show you where to find this stuff again but kind of glance down that list do any of those things surprise you any of those words surprise you that like oh I can't say that hmm I was surprised I couldn't say pain but then when you think about our, our oil pan away you know being an English instructor I was like uh, that's misspelled <laughs> but it's not <laughs> uh, they had to change it it couldn't say pain away so it's pan away so, let's get rid of all your pans but your pots might stay yeah um, <laughs> but um, can't say pain um, nausea um, I thought I could say anti-inflammatory for a long time I used to just pipe along about how great an anti-inflammatory copaiba was nope can't say that either oh wow um, yeah That's I can really, they're really yeah. Nazis about that aren't they oh, yeah <laughs> well, well it, so it sounds like a, a, a drug you know or something anti-inflammatory cold cholesterol can't say anything about like this would, may reduce your cholesterol can't say congestion so those are those are just like the the, the overall hot words but then we also have um, I'm sorry hey I'm doing a zoom live can I call you back
Okay, bye. So professional, that's all right. Um, but, but they also have made some with specific like summer hot words. Um, Lyme disease, I was so happy to tell everybody that our uh, tea tree oil, the Melaleuca alter, alter I can't say it, alterfolia, mm -hmm. um, is the only thing that they found to, uh, to get rid of those super lice that people are getting. Ooh. There, there, there's a, like a strain of lice called super lice. They're resistant to the red X. And so mm -hmm. I was happily telling everybody, hey, you can use tea tree oil on it to get rid of your lice. Nope, can't say that. Can't say no, lice. No, so yeah, that's like a bird lice too. That's like really burrows into the head. So oh great. Can you say it like doesn't like it? What can you say? What can you say? <laughs> <laughs> Supports like, a healthy scalp. Like 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 lice runs from it, or like I mean you know you can't use the word <laughs> lice. You just have to say it supports a healthy scalp. And 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 uh, I can't. Critters are not attracted to it. <laughs> right. Oh, it's just like when you talk about our citronella oil, you can't or purification. You notice that it says something like, uh, "It may promote a, a relaxing outdoor experience." <laughs> I mean, people really have to work hard to, to go. What? Oh, I can't yeah. say. I can't say it. It, it makes bugs go away. Wow. Because. And that isn't really so much with the FDA, that's more with the environment, the EPA, things with like bug spray. Now, we do now have our own bug spray, and like a, an approved sunscreen. You know, we couldn't say that, but now we have a, an over-the-counter sunscreen. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, so, um, and you know, I think eventually, Young Living is the only company, the only essential oil company to have over-the-counter FDA-approved drugs. And I think eventually that we will get FDA approval so we can, like we can call our cough drops, cough drops now. We can call our pain cream, pain cream. And I think eventually we will get many of our products FDA approval and we won't have to worry about it. But for right now, we just, just, just remember to stay above the wellness line. Just talk about, think about the thing you don't want and just say, oh, if I don't have that, then it's this, <laughs> you know. I have a, a healthy scalp. Can you uh, say it supports a healthy immune system? Yes. Okay. It's, but I should be, uh, but I should be holding up a, a vitality line when I'm talking about body systems. Wow. And I didn't know that for the longest time either. I'm um, here. There's another. Oh, go, go ahead. Have you ever been flagged or hit by the FDA? No, I haven't. Thank goodness. Um, but I haven't shared a lot, you know, um, and I think that they may be, it's people who have bigger organizations, maybe they're hitting them, you know, like it's Sarah. noticeable like Sarah, you know, when she's growing, you know. So to me, though, I want to try to make this a reinforce and with you guys, make it a, a positive habit that I'm speaking above the wellness line from, from the get go so that I don't have to work hard to go back and undo what I'm used to doing. So, um, yeah, so back to school, you can't say, we do say we call that uh, the, the ADD, the ADHD roller, we call it the focus roller. Uh, you know, so it's just, you know, because we say it promotes focus, right? I'm not saying a disease or a symptom necessarily, or say, I'm not saying it gets rid of hyperactivity. I'm saying it promotes focus. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of how you set forth your intention. You don't say, oh, I'm, I don't want to be broke. I want to be financially prosperous. Oh, so it's that's a really good this. It's yeah. your intention, correct? So you're negating the negative word anyway. So it's just a way of speaking, actually. Hey, that's a really good way to think of it. It is. That really is. Great. I'm glad we're recording this. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try. Yeah, that that's true. It is. So so like um that because I guess a young living business we are, we're promoting positivity and and not focusing on the negative. That's great, Donnell. Why thank you. I just came to me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Cheers. It's flashes of genius. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, Ningxia Red. Oh, yum. Oh, already had mine. Yes, uh, Angela. <laughs> okay, <Hello>. here's. <laughs> Let's see. That's a list of fall. Anyway, all of these hot words, winter hot words, migraine, you can't say, pain, rosacea, sinus infection, flu, all of this stuff, you, you can't say. These little videos don't work. So, um, what I'm going to have to do. I was so proud, like, oh, look at me. I got my, my little videos embedded in there, but they didn't work. So. Oh, it's cute. The pictures are cute. Aren't they cute? Yeah. yeah. 
but here I've got the video in here. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't know what that is. Go away. Um, but here, these are on YouTube, and it's really what this is two minutes. So let's watch this. Okay. Oh, is that too loud? No, not. I can't hear anything. You can't hear anything. No, nope. I can't either. Hmm. Okay, I know. We might be muted. I have to unplug my my thing there. Headphones. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's try it again. I don't know. Don't have to hear me. Confused about what is and isn't okay to say when you're sharing Young Living? The U.S. has a host of regulations in place designed to protect consumers. Many of these specifically yeah. regulate the marketing practices of natural wellness companies like Young Living. These regulations help ensure that companies are making Oh, oops, lost it. You can't unmute, Karen. Here are some quick tips for Sorry. getting the word out about essential oils without putting yourself at legal risk. Let's dive in. First up, avoid making health-related claims about Young Living products that are misleading, not true, or can't be backed up by scientific studies. Next, never claim or suggest that our products can cure, alleviate, treat, prevent, or diagnose a disease, symptom, or injury. No matter how much success you feel you've had with a Young Living product in helping your family fight disease, avoid claiming as much when you are sharing our products. Next, there are a lot of ways to imply that Young Living products can treat, cure, or prevent diseases. Each violates U.S. regulations. Avoid stating or suggesting that a product can replace prescriptions or over-the-counter drugs can support or supplement a therapy or treatment, or that our products can treat a disease, even if you don't actually name the disease. Finally, you may have noticed this disclaimer in some of our labels and materials. Don't confuse this disclaimer for a trump card. Even if you communicate this information to others, disease claims about our products are still not legal. So that's what you shouldn't say. The good news is there's plenty you can say when sharing Young Living with friends, neighbors, and family. Watch our next video, Sharing Young Living Right, the cans, to learn about proper sharing techniques. And be sure to visit youngliving.com to learn more about our exciting product. I'll show you where these things are in the virtual office before we go. I think I've seen them. You probably, yeah, you probably have. I've, I've nosed around there quite a bit. Good. Uh -oh, I'm going to mute for a second. My doggies are up here. Confused about what is and isn't okay to say when you're sharing Young Living? The U.S. has a host of regulations in place designed to protect consumers. Many of these specifically regulate the marketing practices of natural wellness companies like Young Living. These regulations help ensure that companies are making accurate and safe claims about their products. To help protect you and us, here are some quick tips for getting the word out about essential oils without putting yourself at legal risk. Let's dive in. First thing. While it isn't okay to claim that a Young Living product can cure, treat, diagnose, or prevent a disease without the proper scientific studies, it is okay to state that our dietary supplements can play a role in supporting, affecting, and maintaining overall wellness and specific body structures and functions. For example, when supported by scientific evidence, it is okay to state that it can help maintain cardiovascular system health or support proper liver function. Additionally, many of our products offer nutrition that is generally recognized to support certain systems in the body. Feel free to reference these nutrients' common knowledge support benefits, such as vitamin C's role in supporting healthy immunity 
or proteins role in supporting healthy muscle tissue. Next up, age-related conditions. I didn't know this. Natural body functions and occasional emotional states are not diseases. So don't hesitate to share how Young Living supplements can help with conditions such as Finally, if you have the science to back up an acceptable claim, go ahead and use it. The studies you refer to must not reference Young Living or its products. Paraphrasing, interpreting, or selectively citing the study is not okay. When in doubt, let the product speak for themselves. Whenever you're sharing Young Living, just be sure you're following these guidelines to share in the right way. And be sure to visit youngliving.com to learn more about our exciting products. So I did not know some of that stuff. Um, a couple of things that I picked up. Um, yeah, the, the age-related stuff is, is okay. Shut up. Um, it's okay to talk about emotional things. It's, it's okay to talk about age related. So I could, I could say hot flashes. I didn't know that. Um, if you're talking about age related hair loss, you can talk about that. Um, emotional states, you can talk about those things. Um, the, the Royal Crown Diamond that I've been following and I just joined her a uh, Rhino Up 365. She said, you'll notice that a lot of diamonds talk about emotions a lot because that's not really regulated. So you can talk about, you know, um, the mood, how mood enhancing or, or the, like a creating a, a particular environment, but we can talk about um, emotions and age related things. She also shared, and I didn't know this, but she said there was a diamond who did get sued, not by the FDA, but she got sued by a customer um, for the customer said that, uh, that she led her to believe that, that a particular product was going to cure or help with something. And she took her to court and the person won. So, um, so you can be sued privately. I hadn't really thought about that either. Well, you can be sued privately for anything. It's really, oh, yeah. I guess. so what kind of evidence she must've had videos or something. She did. Yeah. yeah. That was the thing. So that's why, you know, Karen and Nora have been telling us like, don't put it on Facebook. Don't put it anywhere where they can, show you know the evidence and i i mean if it's just like one person's word against another then i guess you're okay but well, when you do a private class um if you're the only one videoing then you can edit yeah so so anyway so what that was it i wanted to also show you um in the virtual office which i forgot to open before i got started um, now those videos I showed are the actual uh, Young Living official videos, so that's how, so when you go to product education in your virtual office, um, these are all those hot words I was talking about. And I don't know if you know this, but if you're confused about like, well, how can I talk about a particular product? They have suggested product claims, 52 pages. Did, have you seen this before? Um, so if I want to talk about, can't stop it. If I want to talk about brain power, um, so I can say what oils are in it. I can, uh, these are the things I can say. I can say it, diffuse it to create an inspiring aroma, <laughs> uplifting fragrance. <laughs> oh, you know, an inspired blend with a rich invigorating scent includes the naturally occurring constituents of cedrol, alpha pinene, guile and linalool. Um, so, I mean, I can, I can talk about these, the breathe again, roll on. I can, I can't say this will, this will help, uh, this will cure your congestion. I can't say that, but I can say it has an invigorating and awakening, awakening aroma. I tell them where to apply it. If I say it has eucalyptus, which is true, but I'm not saying what that does, but most people know that eucalyptus opens you up. So anyway, but I didn't know for a long time that this big list was in here. And if you were really ambitious, I guess the ones that you wanted to talk about, you could go look it up and just kind of memorize. What can I say about carrot seed vitality? No, come on, really. 
you know, what can I say about citrus fresh? What can I say about clove? So that's in your virtual office. Um, and all of that is under product education. There are also some little, uh, you guys have probably watched those, say this, not that with the kids. Those are really funny. Have you guys seen those videos? Um, yeah. But anyway, mainly th the thing with compliance is just to talk above the wellness line. If you are talking about supporting an internal system, you have to, you really need to be talking about the vitality oils and not the other ones if you joined late. So do you guys have any questions? Yes. Yes. Now, my understanding is that these only apply on social media or when it's being recorded, that one-on-one -on -one or in our private classes, we can be more candid. Is that true? Yes. But like I said, or like Donnell just said, as long as there's no evidence of what you're saying. <laughs> you so know? Make sure nobody's recording it. <laughs> yeah. Make sure they're not wearing a wire <laughs> if you're trying to tell them. You Everybody know? check your phones into the basket. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody go through the scanner as the phone. I have to do that in some of my co-parent uh, uh, sessions. So it's like, okay, phone's off. Let me see. No one yeah. recording. Okay, we're good. You know, it seems really irritating, but I get it. I do get that the the purpose of the FDA is to is is to protect people and so they're trying to protect people from us telling them like this is going to cure your cancer you know use this frankincense it'll help with your cancer which it probably will but anyway i can't say that but you know i i do get that i do get that well, i and don't I'm, get i don't get that they they, they let them label five percent oil and 95 percent bat urine as pure yeah. <laughs> yeah, i don't get i don't get that either I don't get, oh, that okay right <laughs> I don't get the fact that they can, you know, a grandfather in a hundred, this damn phone, that they can grandfather in 186 chemicals that they know are killing us, mm. and then they want to worry about how we share young living. Oh, I'm sorry, we're being recorded. I forgot, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Any other, so yeah, as long as, if, if it's anything that you are posting anywhere, anything where you're leaving a trail, you just need to make sure that it's compliant. And uh, those of you who joined later, I just said uh, at the beginning, just try to train yourself to always be talking about how this supports. And if you weren't here when Donnell said, she said, it's like when you're setting an intention, you don't want to say, um, please don't bring me more bills. You want to say, <laughs> I, wait, how did you put it, Donnell? It was so much better when you said it. I said, you don't want to say, help free me from being broke. You want to say, I have prosperity and financial freedom. Yeah. So set forth the intention so we can do the same thing with our oils, basically. Mm -hmm. I really like that. So just, so just have that mindset of positivity of like, how, how do young living products help support an already healthy system? And like, don't even mention the negative stuff. You know, there's no need to. And I think once you get in the habit of that, that'll, that'll be easier. And it'll be easier for you to train your people. Okay, well that was that was thirty minutes. Nora, you want to say anything? I see you're in there. Hey Nora, hey Christy. Hey Christy. This is kind of a, a hard time to to have it. Anyway, I'm but I'm trying to just do some little quick bit classes, and the next thing I'm going to tackle is the compensation plan again, and see if I can't do it better. I'm just going to keep making classes until I get them better. So. Um, Sorry, I was late. We were working on a vehicle. Oh, no, no problem. So I recorded it and you can go back and watch it if you, whatever you missed at the beginning. Great. Thank you. Sure. So I'm going to upload this. I don't think we said anything. Well, I think I'm you probably... you okay? You might uh, want to edit some stuff. I wanted to say something. <laughs> yeah, this Nora. Is Nora. Yeah, I accidentally <laughs> muted myself. So, um, <laughs> and I'm sitting here talking. I'm like, is it, can't anybody hear me? And then, oh, yeah, no, I muted, <laughs> muted myself. So, okay, so... One of the things that, that is going on in Young Living, and they talked about this at the convention, is that there are over 80 cases that our lawyers are working on fighting with the FDA to be able to talk of, it, of, of known illnesses that, young, that the oils do help on and that they're, they're fighting as we speak on how to be able to talk about them publicly as cures. So the movement is going and it's huge what's happening behind closed doors with Young Living battling with the FDA. So the time is coming. So just hang in there. 
and there will come the day where where we're going to have our empires underneath us and um and then there's going to be more people okay yeah i've been waiting for that that scientific proof where you can say it out loud or they have to hear it seven or 12 times um, before they they sign in or sign up for it but we're already going to be in this pretty position of having um, people know that we're doing this already and then we'll be able to add the the um the 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 discourse that is coming our way to talk about um oils which is going to change like from this time next year it could be that we're able to talk about 10 12 15 cases of where oils absolutely do work and it will be legal Yay. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's coming so, so yeah they've, so they've taken so young living what did they do they have their own scientists to do science oh yeah so that way we yeah. have some case studies now mm -hmm. absolutely and, we'll and we have the dream team of scientists in the world that's and exactly. that's what's so exciting and they are not only are they the dream team but they are humanitarians and that is what that is what is driving young living is this um of course gary and mary young but when you go to convention and you hear these scientists talk you're like mm -hmm. the most exciting person for me to hear talk Dr. At the Ollie. convention was the um, the scientist. What what's his name, Karen? Dr. Ollie. Dr. Ollie. Oh, he I was love him. by far like he the most cool. charismatic, brilliant, um, reassuring individual because he's he's got the know of the science, and you can feel his energy that it's him. At this, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he's leading it, mm -hmm. and he's going to get it because he's got the right his heart and his integrity and his brilliance are all aligned yeah. and it's going to happen. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Indeed it is. Are you still recording? I am. Um, are we ready to, to shut this down? Do you, yeah, there any... yeah. There's something I'm going to say that I don't want on there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go, um, Angie. I want to hear it. <laughs> I'm going to stop the share and I'm going to wait. I'm always looking around going, where is it? Okay. Okay, so uh, I hope this was helpful for all of you. And if you have any questions, please contact your upline or contact me. Thanks.